Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. You probably have noticed that the videos have been a little late. Like, as in they're not up yet and it's day 6. That's because my computer charger broke. So I'm working on it right now. See? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm looking at Christmas lights. Julie and I just drove by. Look at the penguin. Can you see it? I, you can't really on the vlog. Um, Julie and I just drove by the Christmas house, but it was not in operation as of right now. That doesn't mean it won't be later. But then I saw these lights, and I was like, Christmas lights, let's go look at them. And Julie was like, really? And I was like, yes, do you not know me? No Christmas lights on that side. That is the unfestive side. Hi. What you doing? <laughs> I'm wrapping a present. No, oh, that's fun. We're in the wrapping room, right? Yes. See, there's all the stuff. Flash my dad's office. Paper. But at Christmas, it's the wrapping room. Plenty of tape right here. <laughs> my mom goes a little o overboard. All so kinds of I'm stuff. I'm wrapping a Christmas ornament that I made for all the little cousins in my family. Yep. And I'm stealing this for my present. And we're uploading a vlog. I'm Hopefully it will work correctly. Yes. We've been having lots of technical difficulties, which you've heard like four times now. Yes. <laughs> but... Because Carrie's computer is dying. So I do that. Poor computer. And then I put it in the box. And then I wrap the box. In this shiny... I like it. ...present paper. I mean, this is for a one-year-old, so it's got to be shiny, so he likes it. Yeah, I like Actually, he's not even one. That's okay. Oh. I want to point out that I like this paper because it's funny because polar bears are wearing sweaters and scarves and they don't need sweaters or scarves because they can warm themselves. Silly they polar have bears. Natural sweaters. They're it's silly polar bears. Fur. It is called fur. It's warm fur and they can go swimming and not be cold. So shiny. I'm cutting the paper. Shiny. <laughs> I'm failing at cutting the paper. Eagles. Okay. My dad likes eagles in America. Yeah. What? So I gotta grab from the bunches of tape. Get all the tape. Look, Megan texted me. Now she has an appearance on the vlog. <laughs> Megan just made an appearance on the vlog without her consent. Uh oh. Uh oh. We don't want to get in trouble for that. She's going to totally rat us out. Yep. So then I have to... Make it perfecto. Yep. I don't like that way. Let's do this. Guys, look at my shirt. It's Mickey and Pluto with candy canes. The dude at the sports show store liked it. Yeah, the guy at the sports store that we went to liked my sweater. It was kind of random, but it's funny we failed at, going to at the, the same time. House, so we went to the mall. And yes, I'll explain that right now. So we were going to go to the Christmas house with all the cool decorations and everything, and where you go inside and he has everything all set up. And then we pull up, and everything was turned off. There was no lights, not even like a porch light or anything. He had a light on in his garage, and that was it. And I was like... We were just like, okay, and we tried finding out stuff, information online to see if maybe he's, like, not doing it anymore, if there's certain times or hours or days or anything, and we didn't find anything. So we were kind of sad because we were going to show you guys. The and most awesome house ever in existence. It failed, and it's because his, like, wife likes Christmas, uh, liked Christmas a lot, and she passed away. So he, ever since then, he just, like, collects stuff and puts it up in her honor and, and keeps it up. And apparently he has a ceiling full of bows. He has lots of like, cool things, but maybe he'll open and we can show you guys one day, hopefully. So 
I would see that. <laughs> so we were just walking to my apartment and Carrie saw these snails. Of and course it was me that stopped and was like, snails! They're just crawling. I don't know where they're crawling to. I don't know either. I kind of want to pick them up though and put them in the, somewhere where they won't get stepped on. I know. Save the snails! Snails. <laughs> snails! Snails! Let's save them. Okay. But I might mess it up by... Yeah, getting in the frame. Don't fall there. <laughs> Falling off the bed. She's not used to having a high bed, guys. No, I'm not. I'm used to like falling into bed, not climbing into bed. Anyway, hello. Hi. Well, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. We're going to do a combination of tags of sorts. Because we're cool like that. We're taking our favorite questions from the Holly Jolly Holiday Tag 1, and then we're doing all of the Holly Jolly Holiday Tag 2. two. And maybe we'll put the questions below, or we'll just read them and, and answer. And we'll then, just read them and answer. And then if you want to do them, you just have to watch the video to get all the questions. Yep. Okay. Or just look up the tag. Yeah, it's really easy. Just type in Holly Jolly Holiday Tag. Anyway, question one is, are you on the naughty or nice list? I think I'm on the nice list. I think I'm on the nice list. Because I do nice things for people. Santa told me I was on the nice list. And we just saved snails. We did just save snails from getting stepped on. So, I think that puts us on the nice list. Two. Have you ever had a white Christmas? No, we live in Texas. It doesn't snow here. Although one year it did snow on Texas. It did it's... snow, but not on Christmas. No, it snowed on Christmas, just not here. It was like everywhere around here. Yeah. And we, San Antonio got left out of the snow on Christmas. Of course. But Brownsville got snow. Yeah. That makes sense. And Austin got snow. I remember that, actually. And we were, like, hoping that it would come, and it didn't. No. It was very sad. Um, but we've had a 100-degree weather Christmas. Yeah. Uh, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? I mean, I probably, but... I can, but... It's part of my job to know them all. <laughs> Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitz, and Rudolph. I probably could have done that too, actually, just because of... The song. Yeah, the song. I sing the song in my head, yeah. usually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? It's really hard to say because I do really like giving gifts because I think I'm good at picking out gifts and I like seeing what people, how people react to the gifts I give, especially when I get like really good stuff. And yeah. Like, like this year, I'm like really excited to give my mom her present and like her your present. Mom's present and, your mom's present is pretty awesome. I, yeah. I guess I could say it because it's not like she's going to watch this, but I got my mom tickets to see Maroon 5 with me in Houston and I put them inside like their CD and then on the outside I put like... I got you this, I wrote on there, like, on a paper, I, like, I got you this so that you would be prepared. Prepared for what, you might ask? And then I put, like, an arrow, and then she opens it, and there's the ticket. Yeah. Amongst some other things that I got her. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good with presents, too, for the most part. I like giving them. Especially this year, because I've had, like, money to spend on my family yeah, to get them. Having money is obviously way much better because then you can actually get cool things. And get them stuff you know they'll appreciate. And not and just like, like little things and from stuff like Walmart. Like, yeah, and stuff like, instead of stuff they like need, stuff they want. want. Yeah. So this year I think I've been, I'm more excited to give my presents than actually get presents. Yeah. But in the past I've kind of been more, like when I was in college I was definitely more excited to get presents. But it was all stuff like I needed. So. Yeah, that makes sense. But, um, what is, would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? I have a few in mind. Like, I think it'd be really cool, you know, to, like, go to Disney World or something. Or Disneyland or any of those places Disney like World that. Disney World would be cool. I because, agree. Like, I want to see Disney at Christmas time. Yeah, that would be really awesome. Or any, any, like, really cool, like, theme park or amusement park like that. That would be really cool for Christmas. I just want to go to, like, Disney for every holiday. Yeah. Because they go like all out yeah I think it would be really cool and then of course I would like love to go to Detroit but like then again I would always love to go to Detroit you would so. just like to live in Detroit so yeah and then 
I think it would be cool to do New York at Christmas. That's true. I don't really want to live in New York City, but oh, I think no. it would be cool It would be cool to, to go visit. for Christmas and see Christmas. everything. Because yeah. it's lit up as is. Can you imagine Christmas? Yeah, I want to see like Rockefeller Center and go ice skating and stuff in oh, New yeah. York. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think those, those are like... Any place that goes like all out for Christmas would be like my dream place to visit. Pretty much. Um, oh. Battery dying. Uh, are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably? You answer this question, I'll go get your charger. I'm a pro present rapper! I think. I feel like. My computer's dying, so that's where Julie went. I don't know what her answer would be. So, now that she's back, my answer is that I am in between. I'm not like super amazing, but I'm not like sucky either. I do a pretty decent job. Yeah. I like to make them cute and yeah. I try and be perfect at it. Yeah, me too. And like, sometimes it's not that it's not perfect, but it's I do a good job. We're not terrible like the boys that just like put tape everywhere and yeah. don't care what it looks like. Uh okay, now on to the holly jolly holiday tag two. Um, do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or do you wait until the last minute? I never wait last minute. I'm not a last minute shopper at I all either. I definitely started my Christmas shopping before Black Friday this you year. You were like doing it in October. Right? I was doing it in October. Because <laughs> I got stuff from the Disney store for my family in October with my gift card for Christmas. Yeah. I don't wait till the last minute e either. I'm usually... All of my presents are wrapped and under the tree, like, at least a week before Christmas, usually before then. Yeah. See, we never put our Christmas presents out because of all the cats and stuff. Yeah. Tearing anything up, but we always put them out, like, just right before. But, yeah. Um, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? I have to answer this one because she doesn't watch that many. Uh, I think I would either want to be in the Santa Claus as, like, Charlie, but a girl version, so that, like, my dad became Santa Claus, because I think that would be really cool, or Elf, or Home Alone. Can I just pick my answer to be that I want to be in Blake Shelton's Christmas special with him? Yeah. <laughs> only if Adam Levine is there? Yeah. Only if Adam Levine is there. No. <laughs> what do you like better, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Christmas Day, but that's because my family didn't really do anything on Christmas Eve. My family does stuff on Christmas Eve, but I still like Christmas Day better. Yeah, because that's Christmas. <laughs> that's Christmas to us. I know in, like, England, Christmas Eve is Christmas for them. Yeah. For most, of, most of them. Not all of them, but... Um... When does your family put up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? Well, at my parents' house, my, we, always, we usually put the tree up like a couple days after Thanksgiving and usually my mom was the one who always decorated it. She always wanted us to help, but we never wanted to help her. And so she always ended up decorating most of it by herself. Me, like my, we used to get a real tree, so we waited a lot longer to put it up. It would be like a couple weeks before Christmas, like the 10th or so of December, and then me and my mom always decorated it. But now we have a fake tree, so we could really put it up whenever we want, but my mom has kept to the, like, two weeks before Christmas mentality. Um, white lights or colored lights? We always had colored lights. We always had colored lights. I like them better. I feel like white lights could be used for anything year-round, yeah. so definitely colored. Um, are you guilty of peeking at your presents, or do you like the surprise? When I was little, I definitely tried to peek, but now I like the surprise. Like, I haven't tried peeking at my presents in uh, a long while Yeah, now. I was the same but, way. Like, I think when you get older, Christmas comes so much faster yeah, that you don't want to peek. Cause when you were little, it felt like so long. It felt like it took, like, a year. I remember, like, laying in bed on Christmas Eve, trying to go to sleep. Feeling like it was going to take forever just for it to come. And yeah. it was just one night. Yeah. But
but now like when you're older it just like it's like it's already christmas yeah so you don't really have time i guess it's because you have, you have buy presents for people too so you're busy doing stuff rather than just being a little kid like just waiting or you have work or yeah. whatever so it just kind of like comes snaps by and you're like it's already christmas yeah um would you rather live in a gingerbread house or in Santa's workshop? Probably Santa's workshop. Yeah, I feel like there's more to do in Santa's workshop. Yeah. Um, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No. I have. With church. I've done it a lot because of church. Um, do you count down to Christmas? If so, how many days are left? No, I don't count down exactly to Christmas. I don't either, but there's 19 days left, because <laughs> it's a 6. Yeah. But I can do the math in my head. Yeah. There's no really not a need to count down. You, once you're in December. You, you just know. Like, it's pretty, once, pretty once easy. Once December hits, you're... Yeah. Um, what are some foods and treats you can count on having every holiday season? Santa brownies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Santa brownies, always. <laughs> Even though I just discovered them this year, aka last week. AKA she's making it a tradition to get Santa brownies. Yes. <laughs> um fudge. And Christmas cookies. Nope. Nothing that exciting. Eggnog. <laughs> I don't really like eggnog though. But some people count on that. <laughs> My parents drink it. Um the last question is, how has Christmas kept its magic for you as you've grown older? I don't know how to answer that question. I don't either. It's just Christmas is my answer. It's just the season and it being Christmas. It's just the feeling, like, that's just what it if is. If you like Christmas, it just... You, the I lights and the presents and the decorating and everything, I don't think that's it, just what it I is. I think if it's you just, like Christmas, it doesn't really ever lose its magic. Yeah. Because for me, I've been obsessed with Christmas for as long as we've been alive, just about. Okay. That's it. Vlogmas Day 6. Done. Done.